It's 20 years since the Marine Data Boy Observation Network make has been going. One of the things I do notice from people telling me over the years is how accurate weather forecasting has got because there was a time when people would say, ah, well, you know, the weather, they, they get it right, they get it wrong. Weather forecasting now is very accurate, is it not? It uh, certainly is. Um, the, the, um, our colleagues in Met Aaron are applying the most advanced uh, meteorological uh, modelling techniques and technologies uh, to delivering the, the uh, forecasts. And it has to be said that the uh, extent of uh, data coming in from the marine area, uh, the weather coming in to Ireland, of course, travels over the Atlantic. Uh, having the weather boys out there to, to monitor and send in the data does help to uh, fine-tune, if you like, the models and the forecasts developed uh, by Major and colleagues uh, throughout Europe. Indeed, the Irish Marine Data Boy Observation Network, as it's called, has been providing, it's not alone weather forecasting, which is extremely important, of course, but it's also safety at sea is an important part of that whole network, is it not? Uh, that's right. It's um, Some of the uh, boys around the coast are instrumented to measure uh, wave activity, wave height, uh, wave duration, um, and other um, uh, oceanographic parameters, uh, which enable uh, modelling uh, of things such as sea level, um, tidal inscur- incursions, and, and other uh, current activities around the uh, coast. So the, the boys, all five of them, and particularly the M6 boy, which is located some 500 kilometres to the west of Ireland, provides a lot of uh, data which enables uh, oceanographic modelling, which is looking at water flows, water uh, movements, and um, to be much more high resolution and and accurate as a result. It's an amazing thing for me to think that those boys are so far out because, as you say, so, so far off the coast, that you can keep them active and keep in touch with them with all the weather that hits them as well. Yeah, we 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 certainly have. Uh, it's a a, a, a challenging uh, job to keep, particularly the M6 boy, but all of the weather boys uh, active at all times. Um, M6, uh, as I said, is out there some 500 kilometres to the west of Ireland and uh, has encountered waves uh, of up to 20 plus metres on a regular basis. Uh, it's in three and a half thousand metres of water and it's it's roughly two days steam a day and a half steam to get out there from from the west of of ireland so we we do plan um all the boys are equipped with uh, double redundancy so they have a duplication of sensors on board they use a satellite system to transmit the data in real time back ashore and then we have a, a maintenance program um which ensures insofar as we can uh, that we get out there to service the boys, change sensors, maintain them, etc. But despite the best efforts, if a severe storm uh, comes in or another event, occasionally there's uh, accidental collisions where boats bump into the boys, um, that can create some, some damage and we have to try and, and get a vessel out then to, to uh, repair the damage. For the... General public listening, that boy, the, the moorings alone, the depth down, it's, it's fascinating how you get that. Now, I, I know that you also are helped by the, as well as the Celtic Explorer and the Celtic Voyager in the boys. You've helped from vessels like the Irish Lights vessel, Grand New Whale. So there's a big operation goes on all the time to maintain that network unseen by the public. Uh, that's very true. Um, the, the, there's a, a year-round program of, of activity um, because while the boy uh, is out there, we're maintaining the sensors and preparing sensors to go back out on that boy when a vessel visits. So we have to change out the sensors. We can't just always repair the, the sensors in a short space of time. So there's a constant program involving primarily the Celtic Explorer and Celtic Voyager, but as you 
you said, uh, vessels such as the Grand Whale and indeed other vessels um, operating in the area um, who are targeted to go out at specific points of the year to um, maintain uh, the instrumentation. The M6 boy is, is located, uh, as you said, uh, over 500 kilometres to the west of Ireland and in a depth of 3,500 metres. So we need a relatively large vessel um, for m marine safety reasons to get out um, to do the servicing of that buoy. So most of that work is done by either the Celtic Explorer or on occasion the Grani Whale. Listening to all of that, the work that goes on with your crews out there, the mariners who have to do that work, it's it must be very, very difficult, very challenging. It is. the, the uh, Certainly on the, the deep water buoy, um, the the um, amount of of uh, line uh, rope um, chain and uh, various other um, sensors that have to be be deployed. It's, for instance, on on that M6 boy, the top 1,000 meters of the of the line of the mooring line for the boy has various instruments attached to it. So you can imagine having three and a half kilometers of cable and and chain on your deck with a very large weight um, and various other connections and as as it's deployed the sensors are connected on, on the top 1000 meters so it's, it's a, a very technical operation and the deck crew and, and the ship's crew are central to making sure that that's done safely and they're supported in doing that with instrument techs uh, people that are, are expert in the particular instruments that are going on. But it, it is a prolonged, takes quite a few hours to get the boy safely deployed uh, at, at its location, because I say in the M6. And it can be in difficult weather too at times, obviously. Absolutely. If uh, if the weather window isn't right, we, we, we have to call it off and, and then reschedule to do at a... a the next uh, appropriate uh, stage. The uh, Celtic Explorer is is um, excellent in in heavy seas, but um, it's, it's very good sea keeping. But the trickiness of deploying the lines over the aft end, you have to make sure that it's relatively steady weather, uh, and and uh, we can never be sure of that uh, to the west of Ireland. Indeed, it, it just points up the the work that has to be done by the seafarers. Now, back in seven years ago, I think it was, another one of the boys, the M4, recorded the, the, the largest wave and a huge height off the northwest. That's right. Um, I, uh, during one of the storms in, in 2014, it recorded a, a, a wave height of 23 and a half metres, approximately which have been the highest recorded individual wave uh, in Irish waters at that time. Um, regularly, we have uh, wave heights in excess of 15 plus metres and then an occasional wave uh, of that height. So um, that's a very significant height if you consider that it's, it's probably at least six times the height of a double-decker bus. Um, well that's that's not insignificant. No, and for those who are you know, not into metres, you're talking there, you know, 45, 70 feet, that's massive waves off the Irish coast. So the, the network, its survival for 20 years, its development is essential to weather forecasting and safety at sea. Absolutely. Um, the the uh, weather data that it's providing is, is very important for uh, general weather forecasting, but particularly for uh, mariners and indeed many mariners operating in the in the wider uh, Irish EEZ and, and in coastal waters are tuned in and can connect and download data from individual boys or from the collective boys in real time. So many of our, our mariners, as we know, are, are excellent, uh, almost meteorologists, themselves and their utilisation of that data. The data is also used, um, the meteorological data is used, as well as the oceanographic data, that's data on, on the water body itself, is used in uh, areas such as climate modelling, climate prediction, sea level uh, rise, 
storm surge uh, activities, coastal flooding, etc. Um, so we do quite a bit of work in that area with our colleagues in Metairn and in other research organisations. A fascinating picture, Mick, of something that would be, as I said, not seen or probably generally recognised by the public. And great to see Irish mariners, Irish marine researchers, Irish scientists to the fore and all of that. Absolutely. Um, and it's a, a, a network which, as you say, has been in operation for 20 years, is entirely dependent on the ability of our, our maritime community, our mariners, to get the equipment out there. Um, and um, uh, cooperation also with our European colleagues. Um, the M6 boy, that deep water boy I mentioned, is one of four um, sentinel boys, as they're described, which are the, the kind of furthest out um, sentinels keeping an eye on the weather for Europe coming in from the west. So it's um, a significant contribution to European uh, weather forecasting also. And, and weather forecasting, as we all know, it's not unique to one country. Uh, it, weather in one place affects weather elsewhere. So it, it's very much a, a European collaboration.